Okay, here's a sample on how to get started with the multi-array exercise. You're going to begin by creating multiple arrays. You're going to want one for student ID, first name, last name, and address that are all parallel. And then you're going to initialize all of them. And you can do this right here in one single loop because you're going to go through it 20 times. And you can just set the maximum array size at 20. I promise not to test over that. Then I'm going to set a variable called counter equal to 1. And I'm going to do a priming read on my first inputs, which in this case, I'm just doubling first name. As long as first name for that counter is not equal to zero, it will keep going. We're going to, in here, increment counter equal to counter plus one. And I'm doing that before I accept the name, because I already did a priming, rate, uh, priming read here with the counter set to one. So we want it to be two when we get to the next one. Then I'm going to do, um, I've got a variable named output, one to counter. And in this demo, I'm going to do it just to the screen. So I'm using console. You actually want to do it as an output to a file. I'm going to do it both ways to show you what you should get. So I'm going to test it with the console first. And I always do that when I'm testing this type of application for output. <clears throat> so I did everything in the console. So we'll put in the first name as Mary, Josh. Matt and zero. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to hit enter and it gives me Mary, Josh, Matt, zero. Okay, I've got an error there. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. I want to put enter here, hit okay, and this is why I test it with the um, console window first. So we'll try this again. Mary. Kathy, Jenny, zero. There we go. I want each one on a different line. Okay, now that I've tested it and I know it's working in the console mode, I'm going to switch it to output to file. And it's a good idea. And I don't want to put the output in the loop. Please look for your I want this in quotes. Your information has been saved to your file. Please look in the same file folder as the Visual Logic program. You want some validation that it really worked. It's just a really good idea. So here I'm going to double check this file name. And please, when you're doing your file name, we call mine Mary output. Please use your first name or your first name and your last initial and output. And here I want to say, please look in the same file folder, the Visual Logic Program. It is named Mary Output. All right, so I'm going to try running this again. Mary. It would have been very nice if I told myself to use quotes here, by the way. You should do that. And I should have put this out on the console, but it says your information has been saved to your file. Yeah, I should have put this to console one. So if i had done this correctly, that would be in console. You should always, always, always be testing before you hand it in. But let's go look in my directory. And so on my computer, in my documents, I have Visual Logic. Here's where my folder is. Date modified. And there's my output. That's the file that I created. So I'm going to open that up. Oh, I should do dot text. Mm -hmm. Okay, good thing to test. So let's try that again. Dot txt. Test, test, test. Okay, one more try. I'm just gonna make this real quick. Um, Mary. Sarah, Kathy, 
Okay, so we can close this. We can again go try and find it. And that does actually open up you know, that document with my file in it. So that's what I'm looking for, except you need to have it working with all of the different parallel arrays that you've done in past programs. So that should give you a start.